In this video, we'll be talking about what are relatively primes, and based on that, we'll be doing some of the elementary results. So now, let us start with the definition of the relative prime. So for that, I consider two integers. So let us consider two integers a and b, and we consider not both of them equal to zero. So let us write a is not equal to zero, or and b is not equal to zero. So at least one of them should not be equal to zero. These are said to be relatively prime whenever the GCD of a and b is equal to one. So whenever their GCD is one, we say that a and b are relatively prime integers. And as I've done a result in my last video that whenever d is the GCD of the two integers a and b, we can always write d as a linear combination of these two. So a x plus b y for some x and y belonging to integer. So now you can see that whenever GCD a and b is equal to 1. So from there we can have our first result very obvious. So from there I have this following theorem that a and b be integers not both 0 then a and b are relatively prime if and only if there exist integer x and y such that 1 is equal to ax plus by. And the proof of this theorem is very obvious as we can see that the, from the previous result whenever d is the gcd of a and b I can always write this as a linear combination so let us say it from this side. So let us prove the result that if a and b are relatively prime so what is given to us is that they are relatively prime. And in case if they are relatively prime, so we know by definition that GCD of A and B is equal to 1. And now by using the star result, so here I mentioned star result and I have proved this result in my last video. So you can see that this implies straight away 1 is equal to AX plus BY is satisfied. This is satisfied and for some value of x and y which belong to integer now what we need to prove is we need to prove the converse so in the converse what we need to take is we need to take that whenever we have this type of linear combination one is equal to ax plus by in that case we have to prove that a and b are relatively prime so let's now say so here we have to given one is equal to ax plus by for some x and y for some choice x and y which belongs to integer and let's consider let d is a gcd of a and b so what we need to show is we need to show that d is equal to 1 so if we show that d is equal to 1 we are done because we want to show that they are relatively prime now since we have considered that d is a gcd of a and b so this implies that d divides a and d divides b and because d divides a and b so this obviously divides always their linear combination ax and b, ax plus by and this linear combination is given as by equation number one this is given as equal to one so this divisor have the possibility that this is less than or equal to one and we said that d is a gcd so d is strictly positive so this means the only possibility for d that is equal to one and hence th that shows that a and b gcd of a and b is equal to 1 and we can show that a and b are relatively prime as a consequence i have this immediate corollary one and it says that if gcd of a and b is equal to d then gcd of a by d b by d is equal to 1 and notice that these are not the fractional part these are integers only because we have already considered that the gcd of a and b is d so this means d divides a and d divides b so this is a integer this implies d divides a and d divides b or i can also write it as a this is a multiple of d and b is also a multiple of d so for some u and v belonging to integer and i have also done the result that d is a linear combination of ax plus by whenever this is satisfied d can be written as ax plus by so now dividing both side by d we get a by d times x plus b by d times y and we know that this expression from here this is u into x and from here this is v into y so now we can see that this means that u and v have the gcd one so this implies the value for u is a by d and v is b by d their gcd is equal to one corollary two says that if a divides c and b divides c with gcd of a and b is equal to one so we can say that a b divides c so now to prove this corollary let us consider what is given to us we have been given that a divides c and b divides c so this implies there exist integers r and s 
such that I can write C as A R and I can also write C as B into S. So we can simply write C as A R equal to B S because both the expression are equal to C. And also what is given to us is that G C D of A B is equal to one. So now because G C D of A B is equal to one, so using the linear combination, I can write one as A X plus B Y for some x and y belonging to integer now multiply both side by c so this is c c into 1 this is same as c times a x plus b y which is same as a c x plus b c y and now from here i'll simply substitute the right hand side value for c so you can see that we have 2 times c so when i take this c so here now let's substitute the value where i require b s so i need a b s x so that i can have a b together plus when i want to substitute here at this c use this value so that i can have a b is already there so this is a r into y and now you can see that take a b common from both sides so this is s x plus r y and this is c so this implies now c is a multiple of a b and this is an integer so we can say that a b divide c and that proves our result what is desired and now i prove the euclid's lemma this is a very interesting property again of divisibility and we use this uh, property multiples time in the other results of the number theory if a divide b c with g c d of a and b is equal to 1 so as i've said here if a divide b c and a and b g c d is 1 so then a must divide the other integer that is c and now for the proof i will use the given condition here the given condition to us is that gcd of a and b is equal to 1 and a is a divides bc so let us start from the condition gcd of a and b is equal to 1 so this implies 1 is written as ax plus by for x and y belonging to integers and now multiply c on both sides so this gives 1 into c this is same as a c x plus b c y so now as we know that a divide b c this is given to us so this condition is given and we also know that a divide a times c because a is dividing a and here this quantity is a multiple of a so this is obvious as we can mention here now from this we can see that this is ac and here it is bc so we say that a divide ac and a divide bc by the given condition and from here we can also write bc is some a times some x dash and from here we can write ac is a times some y dash and replacing these values so we get c is equal to instead of ac i can write this as a y dash into x and in place of this bc i can write this as a into x dash into y so this is same as a into x y dash plus x dash into y and c and from here we can get a divide c and this quantity is belonging to integer and we can replace this by q or any other uh, variable